Craig's Actions Production Assistants are the latest actions from Craig's Actions.com. Uh, they're designed to really help out with the workload and allow you to work efficiently for your clients uh, or to your own production needs, but also with the full sense of creativity and options uh, available to you through the power of Photoshop. So let's get right at it and see what's what they are and what they can do for you. There's three sets. The first one is the portrait series with a number of actions which cover a variety of portrait, wedding, and scenic applications. The next set is the jazz series which has a variety of action techniques which apply color and color tones to your image uh, in a variety of shades and stylings. The next set is something I'm really excited about, the eye tones which is an ongoing series of creative applications in terms of how these trends, these interesting effects, the creative things that can be done to an image can be done automatically uh, so that all of your images are consistent with the same type of look. The way that the actions work is that they produce three files after they run through their techniques. They go into a series of what are called dump files. You have your high res, full resolution rather, Photoshop file. Uh, ready for any further enhancements or retouching or creative techniques that you might do. You have the small res JPEG version of that file, sharpened and ready for posting to the web, screen presentations, uh, feature shows for clients, any of those applications. And you have what I refer to as the print image outputs, which gives you your final file in a TIFF format, ready for printing, sending out via FTP, uh, it's your final image application as uh, an output file. So how does it work? Well, it works very well. What we'll see when we look here through here is that in each individual action set, we'll start off through here in our portrait series, there's five different settings uh, of exposure. We have our normal setting, our plus one, which will brighten up your image about one stop, minus one, which will darken it down about one stop, and then of course plus two and minus two. So you have five degrees of exposure in terms of how you would like your final image to be treated. You also have five degrees of softness uh, from the r regular portrait one to the ultra soft. Uh, the ultra soft isn't as soft as it might lead you to believe, but we do have five levels within there so you can get exactly the amount of softness that you want. What you'll probably find is that editorially, going to catalogs, magazines, you know, you'd probably make use of these first three settings uh, the most, whereas in most ongoing portrait applications, you would make use of these last three. Uh, you don't see too much softness at the beginning here, and you see uh, you know, a decent amount towards the end. So again, you have your choice as to exactly how you would like your image to be treated uh, with these variations that are built into each action. In this particular shot, let's just look at something for uh, a moment and see how these things run. We're going to decide that this image is a little bit on the dark side and a little bit on the warm side for its ideal color setting. So I'm going to go into the portrait cool actions and I'm going to choose an action that's going to open this up about one stop. We'll try that. And so I'm going to take the extra soft plus one. All I need to do is press play. It goes through and it does a whole series of effects which deal with the color tonality, the uh, edge effects in terms of vignetting, a uh, variety of softening techniques, and sizings down to our final application as we uh, ch as I mentioned before. You can see on here this is our screen res JPEG and that's its final size, uh, its final sharpening. It's all been done in one step uh, quite nicely. If I go back a couple of steps in our history here, I'll be able to see our image in its entirety. We'll zoom in a little bit so you get a better idea. So here's our after, and here's our starting point. So you can see how it's brightened up, colors have snapped into place, nice selective softness on the image, and we've got our final sharpening which is done on our TIFF output ready for printing. So these actions accomplish a lot very quickly. 
you can use them in individual mode, you can use them in batches, you can create droplets, just to really enhance the power of how you can deal with your production images. Look for the other videos in terms of the instructional techniques, but that should give you an idea as to what these can do.